Hello traders and welcome to a Friday. Yes, it's Options Friday. First one was starting. We're going to talk about options every Friday and hopefully you'll get a good idea how I trade options. Um, my suggestion is, is that you go to tastytrade.com. They basically started, they start at 7 o'clock Chicago time and they're on air for over eight and a half hours. So go to them. They got a great great um, information they're live they're funny and just a wealth of information you can for free and go into their archives and you can learn different things and it's just a great spot to go cloudy skies here in Pattaya Thailand today so it's a good day to be at my trading desk and see what's going on Forex is absolutely sideways it's a horror show <laughs> I'm gonna trade now like for four days and another trade I'm in for like two days and you know me traders I don't like being in trades overnight but they're just going sideways. Nothing's happening. Like you know, I'm like three pips in profit or four pips in profit in one. I'm like four pips negative in another. Can't do a thing. Just have to hang out and wait. Right? We're gonna hang out and wait. All right. So I trade vertical spreads, and I like to trade um, vertical spreads where I'm selling puts. So that's a bearish formation. Okay. I want to. I'm saying that the um, instrument that I'm trading, whether it's an index, whether it's a stock, whether whatever it is that I'm buying options on, I'm saying that price of that stock is going to go down in a certain amount of time. All right. Now, if you take a look, this is an options chain. This is basically, if you have an options platform, you can bring this up and, and you can basically see that I've picked LUV, which is Southwest Airlines in America. Okay. So I'm looking at an options chain. So if you close this, you can see we have a bunch of options chains. So you can go out almost, you can actually go out to January. 666 days you can actually go out and trade this pair. All right, I like to go out between 20 and 36 days, okay? So I'm gonna take a look at, now we have the April 29th option, okay? I sort of like that. Notice it doesn't say weekly after that. We don't want to be trading weeklies. I'm not trading weeklies. We'll get into that later on, but I don't want to trade weeklies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this uh, April 21st, okay? And it's 29 days till expiration. So we're going to open up this option chain. What am I looking at here? Well, if you go to, if you go to the left of the chart, these are calls. This means you want to buy, okay, this option. Or you want to sell the call, all right? This is the bid price, right? This is the bid. We're selling the bid, okay? So what I like to look at is, now this is my live account, so I got to make sure I be careful not to hit the entry. What I want to look at is, I like to look at the, between the 60 and 70 delta. And we'll talk about that next Friday, about deltas and what you need to know in theta and all that good stuff. But it's good information to have, and it keeps you in line. But I want to sell normally between the 60, as close as I get to 60, or 70 delta. Okay, so if you take a look over here, you can see we have the delta. All right? I know this is confusing. I know there's a lot here. We're going to take it slow, and I'm telling you, we're gonna, you'll get this, and you're going to really enjoy trading options. So if I look at deltas, I come all the way down, and there we are at 53.5, which is in the money, okay? That's in the money, and the bid price is 51.50. The ask price is 55.89. So anywhere between those two things, you're going to be in the money, all right? So we're in the money at a 61 delta, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I am going to sell that, okay? And I want to sell a vertical, okay? Now, check this out. Now, I need to put insurance on it. So I'm going to buy, okay, that same vertical, but outside the money. So I'm probably going to go up to, I normally go two spots outside, which would be 5150, okay? And that's saying that if this price, 
um, goes against me, I will have insurance. But I'm going to ask the ask price, which is fifty five eighty nine, and we're going to go over here to the fifty one five strike. Now, this one, you notice, I'm not hitting the bid. I'm hitting the ask. So I'm going to hit the ask, and we're going to sell the vertical. Okay, now you can see that I have this vertical spread locked in. Okay, so I'm selling the 51.5, and I am buying back the 51. Now, what does this tell me here? Well, there's a couple of things. One thing is if you're going to put a limit order in, if you're going to put an order in, Make sure that you put your order in so it is um, at market. The reason you want to put it at market is because you want to make sure that you get triggered in this trade. All right, then we're going to come down here and we're going to hit confirm and send. Okay, now this dialog box is going to show us. Now, I'm only, if you take a look down here, I know I'm talking a lot about a lot of stuff. And what this will, this will even out. You'll understand this. Um, I only have one contract, which means I have 100 shares of Southwest Airlines stock being LUV. Okay, so what is the max profit I can make with one? If this goes in my favor and I win this trade, the max profit I can make is $20. Okay, $20. What is it going to cost me? You see what it says, pow um, buying power effect? This, my friends, is how much money they're going to help take out of my equity of my account and put on the side to protect the broker right because if this thing bombs out they want to make sure that they're protected so the maximum they're gonna they're going to uh, take out $33 and that's what it's gonna basically put they're gonna put it on the side okay so what's my max loss my max loss is $30 plus whatever the fees are and I think I pay $250 um, in and 250 out okay so that is what that is my break even price is 5130 okay I know that sounds confusing don't worry about it we're gonna talk about this a lot all right okay so I'm gonna delete that because I don't want any I don't want to put on any trades however in options I am still big on looking at charts right so we're going to go over here and we're going to go over to active trader and this is my chart right and you can see this is bearish right so we were looking at getting in at 5150 which is up here um sorry uh that's not right <laughs> what we i should have wrote that down anyhow was it uh, 5350 I think it was so it was like right in here somewhere this is 5343 now what's the issue here well we have this that is um, the I think it's 55 and this price is gonna jump right into it this green lines are 200 by the way so this has got a nice confluence of resistance here so this is a pretty nice looking sell here that we can take this to the downside, right? That's why I want to sell. They had earnings, but it didn't meet expectations, and that's why this pair is dumped off from the 59.63 and came all the way down. And this is a daily chart, right? So this is like in the last two weeks. This just sunk down. And you can see on my chart, I have um, what's going on here. This is a pretty neat indicator down here. It's called a DNA indicator. I basically look at the, the blue and the gray line. And this blue and gray line basically tells me what this stock is going to do on a daily chart okay right now it's sideways it's sideways always remember something about options it moves up it moves down it moves sideways and it expires remember that it moves up it moves down it moves sideways and it expires so whatever your trade is whether you're winning or losing by expiration I like to expirations are on a Friday I like to get out on that Tuesday or Wednesday, so I don't have any problem with that trade. I only look for usually about 60% of my profit, 50% of my profit, and I get out of that trade, okay? 
So this is just a little taste of it. We're going to get into this a little heavier. Hopefully I can get into some positions. I'm in no positions at the moment. If I was, I would show you. I'm in no positions. And the reason I'm not in any positions is because the market's been so bullish. So I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the swing. And it looks like the swing is going to happen. Okay. So this is just a little taste of what we're going to do here on Options Friday. We're going to get more detailed and we're going to enter. I, well, I can't enter trades live because when I do this, I'm doing this in Asia. So, of course, the U.S. stock markets and the Chicago Mercantile is closed on when I'm doing this. So I will enter trades uh, in the New York session. Then I'll show them to you in the next Asia session. Okay. Hopefully get into some trades on Monday. Um, I like to get in my trades early. Friday is not a bad day to get into a trade. The quicker you can get in, the better, right? You want the trade to work for you, right? So you want to get in the trade as quick as possible. Um, all right. So that's what's going on there. Let's go back to the market watch. This is my list of um, my, my wish list, if you want to call it. Okay. And here's my watch list over here. And I have my watch list. Um, connected to my chart. So if I hit on one of these, the chart will automatically come up. Um, I.e., if I go to the Dow Jones Industrial. Ah, oh, that's not going to work. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's my... I, I redid that. Sorry. Um, I got to be honest. I'm in the middle of trying a new platform. We're going to stay with Thinkorswim, but uh, TastyTrade.com just opened up their own brokerage. It's called Tastyworks. And I'm, I'm funding that, so my money is like in internet space there and flying around, and I'm waiting for that account to get funded. So we'll be taking a look at that platform also. Be patient, folks. We're going to get this. We're going to have a really good time with this. And um, if, if I get good comments on it, maybe we'll do it two days a week, okay? Um, it's all up to you, but this is Options Friday. Traders, I've spoken a long time. Traders, have a great trading day. Have a great and safe weekend. Enjoy yourself. Relax. And always remember to do some trading homework. Traders, from Pattaya, Thailand, take care, my friends, and we'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.